piece appeared in The Guardian, told by one of two West Country busmen. I, I've got problems with these glasses, I haven't got my very vocals. Um, well, I'll tell you. Uh, piece in The Guardian, it's from a, per, um, a strain called First Person Singular, and somebody from the general public writes what their story, and this was written by um, this man uh, about his love, John. It's about two men who were in love, and um, there was some intolerance uh, in the com community, and the family found it hard to accept as well. So I wrote it from his point of view about his love. Driver. John, he was a driver on the 78. I was on the 103. Me, I had always looked pretty straight. He was more Freddie Mercury, and he was the man for me, and we were the talk of the depot down in Torquay. Down at the depot, we used to smile and stop for a chat, but it was only a little while before we knew it would be much more than that, the place we were driving at where we'd both wear the trousers and the driver's hat. On the edge of the morning, he's out in the kitchen cooking. The day is still yawning, and we've already let love get a look in. On the edge of the morning, he's out in the kitchen cooking. The day is still yawning, and we've already let love get a looking. He gave me a silvery cigarette lighter. It was brighter than the others. It was a Zippo. Hold on tight for heaven's light when his sickness really began to bite and he had to leave the depot. He was still nosy about the bus Stasi. I kept him in touch with which inspector said what to such and such. I kept him in touch. He'd never hold another steering wheel and I held him in my arms and I told him I loved him very much. We've got to let love get a look in. On the edge of his hospital bed, the linens as white as any swan. I went out for a cigarette. I came back in and he was gone. Sometimes us chaps, we had to keep our love under wraps. And now here's a little rhapsody for John, Bohemian John. The things that people used to say when they found out we were from Torbay. So this is for the first time I'm going to do Dad, because this was down in Bristol. In a, try and do it in a Bristol. I'm going to do, no, I'm going to do Dad in a northern accent, because he wasn't totally English. I'm very proud of you working on that bus, John. When I got on, I thought, I know that conductor. I always wanted to be a bus conductor, and now I'm 19, I am one. Do you think I peaked too early? You love that conductor's uniform you had for Christmas, didn't you? Well, it's a shame you couldn't respect the uniform and refrain from hitting me. It's not something I'm proud of. You wanted to get me angry, and you managed it marvellously. It was poor parenting on my part. You encouraged me in my art and my writings and my music. Not in my dancing mind, but... I always felt you were on my side. I just should have learned to dodge the punches. I never punched you. I know you never, Dad. And with this ticket machine, I only get to wind out the tickets. I never got to punch them like I did that Christmas. Yes, I thought, when I got on, I know that, Conductor. But do you know me, Dad? I know I love you. That'll do. Tell me something. Did Mum get on with Grandma? She was a very strong personality. Who was? Exactly. It was a bit difficult. So why did you stop? Stop what? Painting. I stopped painting because I had you lot. The art wasn't needed, it was secondary. It had had its day. When something becomes secondary, when art becomes secondary, put it away. And I want that good anyway. Good enough for me. Thank you.